So Chris went ahead and pulled the scissor lift in last night. And we got the ignition switch out of it this morning. So we're starting to back probe the wires on the ignition switch and check continuity to find out what's going to be our key on, what's going to be our start, and all that stuff. Now over here, we have the wires for the harness side that run to the control box for the scissor lift itself. So we're going to be splicing these into all of these to make the Predator run so that when we hit the key switch on the ground controls or up on the deck, that we have control of the motor, the choke is going to get switched over instead of a push-pull, it's going to go electric. So all that stuff can be controlled by the chassis set up on this, not down here off the engine. Right? Yep. Got juice, I heard it. And let's see. Can you choke it? Yeah. Is the choke still pulled out? Yeah. All the way? Shuts off and it starts up. So we have full controls now from the ground. And that means it'll work up there too. So all we have left to do is make that choke electric. Yep. Which I've already got pre-wired. I just got to make the bracket make it work on it. Okay. Well, that's one step closer to this thing being finished. Yeah. I got to do the exhaust after that and then I want to run it. I want to get some fresh gas for it and run it and hit everything with a thermal and make sure we're not getting anything too hot where I need to make heat shields or move the oil cooler maybe. I do got to run the exhaust different still. Yeah. Well, while he's doing that, I'm going to start getting in here and looming all the wiring up and getting it cleaned up. So we've got the choke solenoid mounted there. Chris just modified up the old bracket and we mounted it to one of the fan shroud bolts. Uh, took the end of the cable with the handle, took it off. TIG welded a washer to the end of it so we have somewhere for that to pull against. It's routed in a way where it's going to be out of the way and okay. So now he's got some angle brackets to make a mount to hold the cable in place. That's going to be our next step. We've already tested it. It pulls. We don't have it hooked up yet so we don't have the retract. The retract is being pulled against on the linkage side. But it works. The unit controls the choke now. Just got to get this mounted up and hook the other end up and it should be ready to go. Next up, I'm going to probably hop in here while Chris is making that bracket, get the muffler off this so we can start looking at our options for rerouting this exhaust in a way where it's not just blowing straight out on the hydraulic lines, because that's going to be a problem. All right, we got the muffler off, and we're sitting here looking and trying to figure out what we're going to do with it. We think we're probably going to cut the pipes on both sides, take the muffler, mount it under the center of the body, put a turn down on the end, and then run pipes from here down to the muffler underneath of it. It's kind of our plan right now, but that could change. We might just make our own exhaust all the way and put a regular muffler under here. We're kind of just going to start mounting stuff and see what it looks like, and then head over to our exhaust guy's shop, see what he's got sitting around, what we can make work. It's got the bracket welded up there. Get ready to mark it out so that Chris can go drill out the hole to put the uh, cable through. We've also got most of the wiring loomed up and taped up. There's a bunch of stuff that was just laying loose that we wanted to get secured so it's not just laying on the deck. So we got the bracket on there. We just marked it with the paint marker where we're going to have to drill the hole to put the cable through. We've also got as much of the wiring as we can in a loom. Still wish we could have got more of that done, but it's about the best we can do with the room we have to do it with the motor sitting in there. All right, we got the exhaust sitting back up in there as well. I think our plan right now is we're going to just use that and try to aim it down under the lift. So it's not just sitting building up heat right by all the hoses and everything here in the back. So that should fix that problem. We've got some exhaust pipe coming. We're going to throw it in the tubing bender and get it bent up. It should work just fine. Also, got some new cable here. We aren't too happy with the power cable that's on this thing. That's pretty bad. We're not going to let that leave like that. So, we got everything here to make some new cables for it, too.
And now we have the cable hooked up and everything, the brackets on there. We just need to get a decent spring on the back side so that when this pulls down, it pulls itself back up. So we just tried a spring to be our return on the choke. This is a brake spring we had in parts. It's too strong though. The solenoid won't overcome it. Because it'll pull it pulls down, and then we need something that will, when we let go, retract the choke. So we're still looking to try to get a different spring in there to try that as well. We want this bracket to be a little more secure because it's only bolted right here. So we have this bracket up here that we're using for our cable. So this piece of angle is going to get welded in here. We're just going to tack it in place um, on the motor, then we'll take it off and finish weld it. So that'll stop this from being able to move at all and keep this in place as well. So we keep the right angle for the pull on the cable. And it doesn't have a whole lot of drag. I mean, it's not going to take much, but we just need a spring to be able to overcome that to return it. So on the scissor lift, the exhaust can't exit out of here anymore. Well, the way the baffle chamber works is it's in the middle. So I took a hole saw all the way down through the middle. I'm going to cap the end off, and I've notched it here. So when it slides in, it'll seal up fairly tight around it. I can't weld it up, but the little bit of air escape won't be any different than some of the holes in the baffle pipe itself. But it'll come out through here. i got a little bit more cleanup to do, but I'll get it welded up on the outside, and we'll get a spot flared up on this so we can slide one inch into it and it, we can take it on and off without having to cut a weld. And that will cradle that and get welded up there. And I'll have a piece out the back where we can go off of then. And I'll weld that cap up. Well, we ran down to the muffler shop in town. Get that piece of pipe flared out and stuff. It's a really nice day today. It's in the mid-70s, a little bit of a breeze, but We've got storms rolling in.